Freedom of Speech by Country, Wikipedia Audio Freedom of speech is the concept of the inherent human right to voice one's opinion publicly without fear of censorship or punishment. Speech is not limited to public speaking and is generally taken to include other forms of expression. The right is preserved in the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights and is granted formal recognition by the laws of most nations. Nonetheless the degree to which the right is upheld in practice varies greatly from one nation to another. In many nations, particularly those with relatively authoritarian forms of government, overt government censorship is enforced. Censorship has also been claimed to occur in other forms and there are different approaches to issues such as hate speech, obscenity, and defamation laws even in countries seen as liberal democracies. The United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights, adopted in 1948, provides, in Article 19, that Everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression, this right includes freedom to hold opinions without interference and to seek, receive, and impart information and ideas through any media and regardless of frontiers. International Law Technically, as a resolution of the United Nations General Assembly rather than a treaty, it is not legally binding in its entirety on members of the UN. Furthermore, whilst some of its provisions are considered to form part of customary international law, there is dispute as to which. Freedom of speech is granted unambiguous protection in international law by the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights which is binding on around 150 nations. In adopting the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Ireland, Italy, Luxembourg, Monaco, Australia, and the Netherlands insisted on reservations to Article 19 insofar as it might be held to affect their systems of regulating and licensing broadcasting. 39. Freedom of Thought and Conscience the majority of African constitutions provide legal protection for freedom of speech. However, these rights are exercised inconsistently in practice. The replacement of authoritarian regimes in Kenya and Ghana has substantially improved the situation in those countries. On the other hand, Eritrea allows no independent media and uses draft evasion as a pretext to crack down on any dissent spoken or otherwise. One of the poorest and smallest nations in Africa, Eritrea is now the largest prison for journalists, since 2001, 14 journalists have been imprisoned in unknown places without a trial. Sudan, Libya, and Equatorial Guinea also have repressive laws and practices. In addition, Many state radio stations are under tight control and programs, especially talk shows providing a forum to complain about the government, are often censored. Also countries like Somalia and Egypt provide legal protection for freedom of speech but it is not used publicly. See also, censorship in Algeria, censorship in Tunisia. In light of South Africa's racial and discriminatory history, particularly the apartheid era, the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa of 1996 precludes expression that is tantamount to the advocacy of hatred based on some listed grounds. Freedom of speech and expression are both protected and limited by a section in the South African Bill of Rights, Chapter 2 of the Constitution. Section 16 makes the following provisions. 16. Freedom of Expression 1. Everyone has the right to freedom of expression, which includes Subject to any reasonable restrictions. 2. The right in subsection does not extend to In 2005, 
the South African Constitutional Court set an international precedent in the case of Laugh It Off Promotions CCV South African Breweries International when it found that the small culture jamming company Laugh It Off's right to freedom of expression outweighs the protection of trademark of the world's second largest brewery. The Right of Every Citizen to Freedom of Africa Blasphemy against religion is illegal in Sudan under blasphemy laws. Despite the Tunisian revolution that led the Arab Spring, freedom of speech is still a controversial issue and a subject of uncertainty. Artists, journalists, and citizens still face many kinds of harassment when they try to express their ideas freely. Making things more complicated is a lack of experience and traditions in the field of free speech on the part of Tunisian justice and judges. On June 13, 2013 Tunisian rapper, Ala Yacobi, was imprisoned and given a two-year jail sentence because his song El Bolazia Kleb was considered an incitement to violence and hatred. The court judgment was the subject of an appeal and the decision was announced for July 2, 2013, while Ala Yacobi remains in prison. Several Asian countries provide formal legal guarantees of freedom of speech to their citizens. These are not, however, implemented in practice in some countries. Barriers to freedom of speech are common and vary drastically between ASEAN countries. They include the use of brutal force in cracking down on bloggers in Burma, Vietnam, and Cambodia, lay majest in Thailand, the use of libel and internal security laws in Singapore and Malaysia, and the killing of journalists in the Philippines. Freedom of expression is significantly limited in China and North Korea. Freedom of speech has improved in Myanmar in recent years, but significant challenges remain. There is no clear correlation between legal and constitutional guarantees of freedom of speech and actual practices among Asian nations. Under Chapter 3, Fundamental Rights and Duties of the Residents of the Hong Kong Basic Law the Indian constitution ostensibly guarantees freedom of speech to every citizen, but itself allows significant restrictions. In India, citizens are free to criticize government, politics, politicians, bureaucracy, and policies. However, speech can be restricted on grounds of security, morality, and incitement. There have been landmark cases in the Indian Supreme Court that have affirmed the nation's policy of allowing free press and freedom of expression to every citizen, with other cases in which the court has upheld restrictions on freedom of speech and of the press. Article 19 of the Indian Constitution states that All citizens shall have the right South Africa Sudan these rights are limited so as not to affect. Freedom of the press, are guaranteed. Tunisia Asia Hong Kong India Indonesia Freedom of speech is restricted by the National Security Act of 1980 and in the past, by the Prevention of Terrorism Ordinance of 2001 the Terrorist and Disruptive Activities Act from 1985 to 1995, and similar measures. Freedom of speech is also restricted by Section 124A of the Indian Penal Code, 1860 which deals with sedition and makes any speech or expression which brings contempt towards government punishable by imprisonment extending from three years to life. In 1962, the Supreme Court of India held this section to be constitutionally valid in the case Kedar Nath Singh vs State of Bihar. Certain sections of the Flag and Heraldic Code require particular expressions and prohibit other expressions, 
Title 13 of the Revised Penal Code of the Philippines criminalizes libel and slander by act or deed, providing penalties of fine or imprisonment. In 2012, acting on a complaint by an imprisoned broadcaster who dramatized a newspaper account reporting that a particular politician was seen running naked in a hotel when caught in bed by the husband of the woman with whom he was said to have spent the night, the United Nations Commission on Human Rights ruled that the criminalization of libel violates freedom of expression and is inconsistent with Article 19 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, commenting that defamations laws should not stifle freedom of expression and that penal defamation laws should include defense of truth, blasphemy. Against decency and good customs is an offense which is punishable by a prison term, a fine, or both. Other offenses against decency and good customs include, public displays or exhibitions which glorify criminals or condone crimes, serve no other purpose but to satisfy the market for violence, lust, or pornography, offend any race or religion tend to abet traffic in and use of prohibited drugs, and are contrary to law, public order, morals, and good customs, established policies, lawful orders, decrees and edicts, publishing or selling obscene literature, selling, giving away, or exhibiting films, prints, engravings, sculpture or literature which are offensive to morals, publicly expounding or proclaiming doctrines openly contrary to public morals, and highly scandalous conduct not expressly falling within any other article of the code. Blasphemy against religion is illegal in Indonesia under blasphemy laws. Unauthorized handling of personal information, which protects the right to privacy, defamation, dissemination of pornography depicting disrespect to a human, abuse of an animal, or dissemination of any pornography to children, seducing to use or propagation of use of addictive substances other than alcohol, which protects public health, denigration of a nation, race, ethnic or other group of people, i.e. hate speech inciting of hatred towards a group of people or inciting limitation of their civil rights, spreading of scaremongering information, e.g. fake bomb alerts, public incitement of perpetration of a crime, public approval of a felony crime, public display of sympathy towards a movement oriented at curbing rights of the people, e.g. propagation of hate groups, public denial, questioning, endorsement or vindication of genocide, e.g. Auschwitz lie, incitement of an offensive war. In some cases in Indonesia to criticize the government by mentioning a name of government administration is still considered wrong. Insult is punishable under section 185. Satire and similar forms of art enjoy more freedom but have to respect human dignity malicious gossip and defamation. Utterances about facts are allowed if they are true and can be proven. Yet journalists are free to investigate without evidence because they are justified by safeguarding legitimate interests. Hate speech may be punishable if against segments of the population and in a manner that is capable of disturbing the public peace, including racist agitation and anti-Semitism. Holocaust denial is punishable according to section 130 subsection 3, membership in or support of banned political parties. Currently banned parties include the SRP and the KPD, but historically all non-Nazi parties have been banned, dissemination of means of propaganda of unconstitutional organizations, use of symbols of unconstitutional organizations. Items such as the swastika or clothing of the FDJ is banned, disparagement of, the federal president, the state and its symbols. Bangladesh 
Under Chapter 3 of the Fundamental Rights in Bangladesh the Bangladesh Constitution ostensibly guarantees freedom of speech to every citizen. According to Part 3 of the Laws in Bangladesh, Bangladesh Constitution states that All the citizens shall have the following right Is guaranteed Imposed by law in the interests of the security of the state friendly relations with foreign states, public order, decency, or morality, or in relation to contempt of court, defamation, or incitement to an offense, speech and expression, and blasphemy against Islam is illegal in Iran. According to the Press Freedom Index for 2007, Iran ranked 166th out of 169 nations. Only three other countries Eritrea, North Korea, and Turkmenistan, had more restrictions on news media freedom than Iran. The government of Ali Khomeini and the Supreme National Security Council imprisoned 50 journalists in 2007 and all but eliminated press freedom. Reporters Without Borders has dubbed Iran the Middle East's biggest prison for journalists. Iran On July 11, 2011, the Neset passed a law making it a civil offense to publicly call for a boycott against Israel, defined as deliberately avoiding economic, cultural, or academic ties with another person or another factor only because of his ties with the State of Israel one of its institutions or an area under its control, in such a way that may cause economic, cultural, or academic damage. According to the law anyone calling for a boycott can be sued and forced to pay compensation, regardless of actual damages. At the discretion of a government minister, they may also be prevented from bidding in government tenders. In a survey of Israelis conducted in 2014, the Israeli Democracy Institute found that 46% of Israelis believe that harsh, public criticism of Israel should be outlawed. Freedom of speech is guaranteed by Chapter 3, Article 21 of the Japanese Constitution. There are few exemptions to this right and a very broad spectrum of opinion is tolerated by the media and authorities. 14.3.a, Insult Christianity or any other known religion. 14.3.b, Insult the President of Greece. 14.3.c, Disclose information related to the Greek armed forces or to various aspects of Greek national security have as a purpose the forceful overturning of the Greek system of government. Israel Article 21 Insults against the honor and prestige of the president, vilification of a person's religion, insults against the honor and decorum of others, and defamation of another person. Freedom of assembly and association as well as speech, press, and all other forms of expression are guaranteed, no censorship shall be maintained, nor shall the secrecy of any means of communication be violated. Regerings for Men, Chapter 2 protects personal freedom of expression whether orally, pictorially, in writing, or in any other way. Trick Freiheit's Ford Ningen protects the freedom of printed press, as well as the principle of free access to public records and the right to communicate information to the press anonymously. For a newspaper to be covered by this law, it must be registered and have a legally responsible publisher, a Swedish legal term meaning a person who is ultimately accountable for the printed material. Itrande Freiheit's Grundlagen extends protections similar to those of Trick Freiheit's Ford Ningen to other media, including television, radio, and websites. Japan Malaysia Pakistan In May 2008, 
the Prime Minister of Malaysia Datuk Seri Abdullah Ahmad Bada'i put forward a headline media should practice voluntary self-censorship, saying there is no such thing as unlimited freedom and the media should not be abashed of voluntary self-censorship to respect cultural norms. Different societies hold different values and while it might be acceptable in secular countries to depict a caricature of Muhammad, it was clearly not the case here. It is not a moral or media sin to respect prophets. He said the government also wanted the media not to undermine racial and religious harmony to the extent that it could threaten national security and public order. I do not see these laws as curbs on freedom. Rather, they are essential for a healthy society. Articles 19 of the Constitution of Pakistan guarantees freedom of speech and expression, and freedom of the press with certain restrictions. Blasphemy against Islam is illegal in Pakistan. Annual Report of the United States Commission on International Religious Freedom May 2009 Pakistan United States Commission on International Religious Freedom May 2009 Archived from the original on May 8, 2009 Retrieved June 24, 2009 Article 35 of the Constitution of the People's Republic of China claims that English citizens of the People's Republic of China enjoy freedom of speech, of the press, of assembly, of association, of procession, and of demonstration, Chinese. There is heavy government involvement in the media, with many of the largest media organizations being run by the Communist Party-led government. To democracy, the Free Tibet Movement, Taiwan as an independent country, the Tiananmen Square Massacre, the 2014 Hong Kong protests, the Arab Spring, certain religious organizations and anything questioning the legitimacy of the Communist Party of China are banned from use in public and blocked on the Internet. Web portals including Microsoft SMSN have come under criticism for aiding in these practices, including banning the word democracy from its chat rooms in China. Social networking sites such as Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat are banned as a whole and books and foreign films are subject to active censorship. The biggest search engine, Google however, was unbanned on the 25th anniversary of the massacre of Tiananmen Square. However, usage is still limited. Beijing has also lifted bans on foreign websites within the Shanghai Free Trade Zone. Its censorship tactics vary from relatively moderate way of using monitoring systems and firewalls to an extreme end of jailing journalists, bloggers, and activists as we can see from the recent example of the jailed Chinese activist Liu Xiaobo. Although China's constitution deals with citizens' freedom of speech, the language has been vague, thus giving more space for the government's arbitrary and unilateral judgments. For example, according to the Article 5 of the Computer Information Network and Internet Security, Protection and Management Regulations, issued by the Ministry of Public Safety in 1997, it states, No unit or individual may use the Internet to create, replicate, retrieve, or transmit the following kinds of information. In January 2013, hundreds of protesters gathered in front of the headquarters of Southern Weekly after Guangdong's propaganda chief, Tuo Zhen, allegedly rewrote the newspaper's New Year's editorial entitled China's Dream Slash The Dream of Constitution, which called for constitutional reform to better guarantee individual citizens' rights. This is seen, though small, as a victory for press freedom in China, it was the largest and most open protest for free speech in China in decades and the result itself favored the press, 
the Guangdong Propaganda Ministry agreeing not to directly intervene in editorial decisions. Article 3 Section 4 of the 1987 Constitution of the Philippines specifies that no law shall be passed abridging the freedom of speech or of expression. However, some laws limit this freedom, for example. Blasphemy against Islam is illegal in Saudi Arabia, under punishment of death. The South Korean Constitution guarantees freedom of speech, press, petition, and assembly for its nationals. However, behaviors or speeches in favor of the North Korean regime or communism can be punished by the national security law, though in recent years prosecutions under this law have been rare. There is a strict election law that takes effect a few months before elections which prohibits most speech that either supports or criticizes a particular candidate or party. One can be prosecuted for political parodies and even for wearing a particular color. The UN Human Rights Commission expressed concerns about South Korea's deterioration of online free speech. Some activists send leaflets by balloons to North Korea. The police has intervened and stopped some of the balloon releases in fear that North Korea may retaliate violently. This has resulted in critical discussion on freedom of expression and its limits due to safety concerns. Officially, the South Korean government insists on activists' right to freedom of expression. While the Thai constitution provides for freedom of expression, by law the government may restrict freedom of expression to preserve national security, maintain public order, preserve the rights of others, protect public morals, and prevent insults to Buddhism. The Lace Majest law makes it a crime, punishable by up to 15 years imprisonment for each offense, to criticize, insult, or threaten the king, queen, royal heir apparent, or regent. Defamation is a criminal offense and parties that criticize the government or related businesses may be sued, setting the stage for self-censorship. Censorship expanded considerably starting in 2003 during the Thuxan Shinawatra administration and after the 2006 military coup. Prosecutions for lace majest offenses increased significantly starting in 2006. Journalists are generally free to comment on government activities and institutions without fear of official reprisal, but they occasionally practice self-censorship, particularly with regard to the monarchy and national security. Broadcast media are subject to government censorship, both directly and indirectly and self-censorship is evident. Under the emergency decree in the three southernmost provinces, the government may restrict print and broadcast media, online news, and social media networks there. The Computer Crime Act of 2007 allows for computer crime punishments that have committed far fewer offenses, potentially giving the government even more control over free speech. However, this amended act is currently awaiting the approval of His Majesty King Mahavahiralong Kornbodan Dratabhayavarankan. Thailand practices selective internet filtering in the political, social, and internet tools areas, with no evidence of filtering in the conflict-slash-security area in 2011. Thailand is on Reporters Without Borders list of countries under surveillance in 2011 and is listed as not free in the Freedom on the Net 2011 report by Freedom House, which cites substantial political censorship and the arrest of bloggers and other online users. In the United Arab Emirates, it is a crime to use a computer network to damage the national unity or social peace. The law has been used to convict people for criticising state security investigations on Twitter. Australia does not have explicit freedom of speech in any constitutional or statutory declaration of rights, 
with the exception of political speech which is protected from criminal prosecution at common law per Australian Capital Television Thai LTDV Commonwealth. There is however an implied freedom of speech that was recognised in Lang v Australian Broadcasting Corporation. In 1992, the High Court of Australia judged Indiana the case of Australian Capital Television Thai LTDV Commonwealth that the Australian Constitution, by providing for a system of representative and responsible government, implied the protection of political communication as an essential element of that system. This freedom of political communication is not a broad freedom of speech as in other countries, but rather a freedom whose purpose is only to protect political free speech. This freedom of political free speech is a shield against government prosecution, not a shield against private prosecution. It is also less a causal mechanism in itself, rather than simply a boundary which can be adjudged to be breached. Despite the court's ruling, however, not all political speech appears to be protected in Australia and several laws criminalise forms of speech that would be protected in republic countries such as the United States. In 1996, Albert Langer was imprisoned for advocating that voters fill out their ballot papers in a way that was invalid. Amnesty International declared Langer to be a prisoner of conscience. The section which outlawed Langer from encouraging people to vote this way has since been repealed and the law now says only that it is an offence to print or publish material which may deceive or mislead a voter. The Howard government expanded sedition law as part of the War on Terror. Media Watch ran a series on the amendments on ABC television. In 2003, XRO senior scientist Graham Pierman was reprimanded and encouraged to resign after he spoke out on global warming. The Howard government was accused of limiting the speech of Pierman and other scientists. In 2010, journalist Andrew Bolt was sued in the federal court over two posts on his Herald Sun blog in 2009. Bolt was found to have contravened the Racial Discrimination Act 1975 in 2011 following comments regarded to be representative of a eugenic approach to Aboriginal identity. This prompted the federal government to propose changes to the Racial Discrimination Act but has met with stiff resistance. In 2014, the Supreme Court of Victoria issued a blanket media gag order on the reporting of a high-profile international corruption case. The gag order prevented the publishing of articles regarding bribes presented to high-ranking officials of Malaysia, Indonesia and Vietnam by senior executives of the Reserve Bank of Australia in order to secure the adoption of the Australian invented and produced polymer banknote technology. The right to freedom of speech is not explicitly protected by common law in New Zealand but is encompassed in a wide range of doctrines aimed at protecting free speech. An independent press, an effective judiciary, and a functioning democratic political system combine to ensure freedom of speech and of the press. In particular, freedom of expression is preserved in Section 14 of the New Zealand Bill of Rights Act 1990 which states that Everyone has the right to freedom of expression, including the freedom to seek, receive, and impart information and opinions of any kind in any form. This provision reflects the more detailed one in Article 19 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. The significance of this right and its importance to democracy has been emphasized by the New Zealand courts. It has been described as the primary right without which the rule of law cannot effectively operate. The right is not only the cornerstone of democracy, it also guarantees the self-fulfillment of its members by advancing knowledge and revealing truth. As such, the right has been given a wide interpretation. 
The Court of Appeal has said that Section 14 is as wide as human thought and imagination. Freedom of expression embraces free speech, a free press, transmission and receipt of ideas and information, freedom of expression in art, and the right to silence. The right to freedom of expression also extends to the right to seek access to official records. This is provided for in the Official Information Act 1982. The European Convention on Human Rights, signed on November 4, 1950, guarantees a broad range of human rights to inhabitants of member countries of the Council of Europe, which includes almost all European nations. These rights include Article 10, which entitles all citizens to free expression. Echoing the language of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights this provides that The Convention established the European Court of Human Rights. Any person who feels his or her rights have been violated under the Convention by a state party can take a case to the court. Judgments finding violations are binding on the states concerned and they are obliged to execute them. The Committee of Ministers of the Council of Europe monitors the execution of judgments, particularly to ensure payment of the amounts awarded by the court to the applicants in compensation for the damage they have sustained. The Convention also includes some other restrictions. For example, the Council of Europe Explanatory Report of the Additional Protocol to the Convention on Cyber Crime states that the European Court of Human Rights has made it clear that the denial or revision of clearly established historical facts such as the Holocaust would be removed from the protection of Article 10 by Article 17 of the ECHR in the Lehigh Du and Isorni v. France Judgment of September 23, 1998. Each party to the Convention must alter its laws and policies to conform with the Convention. Some, such as Ireland or the United Kingdom, have expressly incorporated the Convention into their domestic laws. The guardian of the Convention is the European Court of Human Rights. This Court has heard many cases relating to freedom of speech including cases that have tested the professional obligations of confidentiality of journalists and lawyers, and the application of defamation law, a recent example being the so-called McLibel case. Citizens of the European Union enjoy freedom of speech, of the press, of assembly, of association, of procession, and of demonstration. Currently, all members of the European Union are signatories of the European Convention on Human Rights in addition to having various constitutional and legal rights to freedom of expression at the national level. The Charter of Fundamental Rights of the European Union has been legally binding since December 1, 2009 when the Treaty of Lisbon became fully ratified and effective. Article 11 of the Charter in part mirroring the language of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the European Convention on Human Rights, provides that The European Court of Justice takes into account both the Charter and the Convention when making its rulings. According to the Treaty of Lisbon, the European Union accedes to the European Convention as an entity in its own right making the Convention binding not only on the governments of the member states but also on the supranational institutions of the EU. Freedom of speech in the Czech Republic is guaranteed by the Czech Charter of Fundamental Rights and Basic Freedoms, which has the same legal standing as the Czech Constitution. It is the first freedom of the Charter's second division, Political Rights. It reads as follows. Specific limitations of the freedom of speech within the meaning of Article May 17 be found in the Criminal Code as well in other enactments. These include the prohibition of Most of the limitations of the free speech in the Czech Republic aim at protection of rights of individuals or minority groups. 
Unlike in some other European countries there are no limits on speech criticizing or denigrating government, public officials, or state symbols. People's Republic of China Freedom of speech in Denmark is granted by Grundloven. Hate speech is illegal according to the Danish Penal Code 266. The 1991 Media Liability Act creates criminal and civil mandates that mass media content and conduct must be consistent with journalism ethics and the right of reply, and also created the Press Council of Denmark which can impose fines and imprisonment up to four months. Finland has been ranked in the Press Freedom Index as the country with the best press freedom in 2002-2006-2009-2010, and 2012-2014. According to the Constitution, everyone has freedom of expression, entailing the right to express, disseminate, and receive information opinions and other communications without prior prevention by anyone. The Finnish mass media has a own self-regulatory organ which regulates the ethics of the press. A demonstration or other public assembly requires no permission from the police or other authorities. If a public meeting is held outdoors, the police must be notified of the event no later than six hours before the assembly is scheduled to begin, but the police have no authority to prohibit the event. Philippines Defamation is a crime only if the target is a private person. Defamation of corporations is never a crime unless it's covered by competition regulations or similar legislation. Sentences have never been given for publishing pro-drug propaganda. There are no restrictions regarding obscenity. It's illegal to display obscene visual material in a public place in a manner that is likely to cause public offense. In practice this means that obscene photos and videos may be shown only in places where they are expected to be seen, while there are no restrictions on obscene literature. Drawings and animations showing child pornography are legal. While bestiality is legal as such, videos and photographs showing sex with animals are banned. Motion pictures showing brutal violence may not be kept accessible to the public or distributed if the display of violence is not deemed necessary for informative or artistic purposes, possession of such audiovisual recordings being still legal. A Finn was sentenced in 2009 to 40 days of probation after keeping Islamic extremist execution videos on his website. Finland had a film censorship board until 2001 when the scope of the board was limited to giving age ratings to movies. After the abolition of film censorship there are no restrictions on sex shown in movies regardless of the venue of display violent pornography being the only exception to the rule. After the abolishment of film censorship, banning movies that contain brutal violence has been extremely rare. Saudi Arabia Disparagement of the flag of Finland is an offense that can be punished with a fine. The ban specifically includes using a flag with unauthorized addenda. This is the only law restricting disparagement of the state and its symbols and institutions. Blasphemy and hate speech are forbidden. The blasphemy law applies to all religions. The hate speech law protects people of different sexual orientations, races, skin colors, places of birth, national or ethnic origins, religions, or beliefs and disabled people. The sentence for committing these crimes could theoretically be imprisonment, but during the modern juridical history the sentence has always been a fine. South Korea Thailand The hate speech law is relatively lax. It prohibits only threatening, insulting, and defaming the aforementioned groups while criticism and expression of opinions against these groups of people are not per se forbidden. 
For instance, unlike in 16 other European countries and Canada, denying the Holocaust is legal. During the years 2020-13 there were 21 successful court cases regarding hate speech. The expressions ruled illegal include stating that some groups are trash, a group is a racial monster that needs to be destroyed, and comparing asylum seekers to animals and saying that violence against foreigners is acceptable. A Finnish member of EU Parliament Jussi Halla-Aho was sentenced for both blasphemy and hate speech in 2012 by the Supreme Court after saying that Islam is a pedophilia religion and it's a national and possibly even genetic special characteristic of the Somali people to rob passers-by and to be parasites living on the taxpayers' money. According to Jussi Halla-Aho himself, the latter was meant to criticize the fact that saying that Finns drink a lot and then kill people due to possibly genetic reasons was held to be in accordance of the ethics of the press by the self-regulatory organ of the mass media. Fines are income based in Finland. Halaaho was sentenced to 50-day fines and had to pay 550 euros based on his income. The Declaration of the Rights of Man and of the Citizen of constitutional value, states, in its Article 11. United Arab Emirates Australia New Zealand Europe Council of Europe European Union Czech Republic Denmark Finland France Germany Greece Hungary Ireland Italy Malta In addition, France adheres to the European Convention on Human Rights and accepts the jurisdiction of the European Court of Human Rights. The Press Law of 1881, as amended, guarantees freedom of the press, subject to several exceptions. The Plevin Act of 1972 prohibits incitement to hatred, discrimination, slander, and racial insults. The Gay Sod Act of 1990 prohibits any racist, anti-Semite, or xenophobic activities, including Holocaust denial. The law of December 30, 2004 prohibits hatred against people because of their gender, sexual orientation, or disability. An addition to the Public Health Code was passed on December 31, 1970, which punishes the positive presentation of drugs and the incitement to their consumption with up to five years in prison and fines up to €76,000. Newspapers such as Liberation, Charlie Hebdo, and associations, political parties, and various publications criticizing the current drug laws and advocating drug reform in France have been repeatedly hit with heavy fines based on this law. France does not implement any preliminary government censorship for written publications. Any violation of law must be processed through the courts. The government has a commission recommending movie classifications, the decisions of which can be appealed before the courts. Another commission oversees publications for the youth. The Minister of the Interior can prohibit the sale of pornographic publications to minors, and can also prevent such publications from being publicly displayed or advertised, such decisions can be challenged before administrative courts. The government restricts the right of broadcasting to authorized radio and television channels, the authorizations are granted by an independent administrative authority, this authority has recently removed the broadcasting authorizations of some foreign channels because of their anti-Semitic content. As part of internal security enactments passed in 2003, it is an offense to insult the national flag or anthem, 
with the penalty of a maximum €9,000 fine or up to six months' imprisonment. Restrictions on offending the dignity of the Republic, on the other hand, include insulting anyone who serves the public. The legislation reflects the debate that raged after incidents such as the booing of the La Marseillaise at a France vs. Algeria football match in 2002. Freedom of expression is granted by Article 5 of the Basic Law for the Federal Republic of Germany, which also states that there is no censorship and that freedom of expression may be limited by law. The Netherlands the press is regulated by the law of Germany as well as all 16 states of Germany. The most important and sometimes controversial regulations limiting speech and the press can be found in the criminal code. Outdoor assemblies must be registered beforehand. Assemblies at memorial sites are banned. Individuals and groups may be banned from assembling especially those whose fundamental rights have been revoked and banned political parties. The Love Parade decision determined that for an assembly to be protected it must comply with the concept of a constituent assembly, or the so-called narrow concept of assembly whereby the participants in the assembly must pursue a common purpose that is in the common interest. The 14th article of the Greek Constitution guarantees the freedom of speech, of expression, and of the press for all but with certain restrictions or exceptions, for example although it generally forbids any preemptive or after-the-fact censorship, it allows public prosecutors to order a confiscation of press publications when the latter. Poland Articles 7, 8, 9, and X of the Fundamental Law of Hungary establishes the rights of freedom of expression, speech, press, thought, conscience, religion, artistic creation, scientific research, and assembly. Some of these rights are limited by the Penal Code. This list has been updated to include, people with disabilities, Various sexual identity and sexual orientation, effective from July 2013. Portugal It is also illegal under Section 269-C of the Penal Code and punishable with three years of imprisonment, to publicly deny, question, mark as insignificant attempt to justify the genocides carried out by the National Socialist and Communist regimes, as well as the facts of other crimes against humanity. Freedom of speech is protected by Article June 1, 40 of the Irish Constitution. However the article qualifies this right, providing that it may not be used to undermine public order or morality or the authority of the state. Furthermore. The Constitution explicitly requires that the publication of blasphemous, seditious, or indecent matter be a criminal offence, leading the government to pass a new blasphemy law on July 8, 2009. Spain The scope of the protection afforded by this article has been interpreted restrictively by the judiciary, largely as a result of the wording of the article which qualifies the right before articulating it. Indeed, until an authoritative pronouncement on the issue by the Supreme Court, many believed that the protection was restricted to convictions and opinions and, as a result, a separate right to communicate was, by necessity, implied into Article March 2, 40. This judicial conservatism is at variance with the concept of speech as a democratic imperative. This, albeit trite, justification for free speech has underpinned the liberal, progressive interpretation of the First Amendment by the United States Supreme Court. Under the European Convention on Human Rights Act 2003, all of the rights afforded by the European Convention serve as a guideline for the judiciary to act upon. The Act is subordinate to the Constitution. 
In Italy the Constitution guarantees freedom of speech, as stated in Article 21, Paragraph 1. The article also gives restrictions against those acts considered offensive by public morality, as stated in Paragraph 6. Sweden Such restrictions are enforced through the Italian Penal Code which, for example, includes articles that prohibit commercial advertising of artwork owned by the government, such as Michelangelo's David, require an assessment of the adequacy of the image, which must respect cultural dignity. United Kingdom Blasphemy against the Roman Catholic Church was illegal in Malta. Norway However the law was repealed in 2016. Russia Article 7 of the Dutch Grandwet in its first paragraph grants everybody the right to make public ideas and feelings by printing them without prior censorship, but not exonerating the author from his liabilities under the law. The second paragraph says that radio and television will be regulated by law but that there will be no prior censorship dealing with the content of broadcasts. The third paragraph grants a similar freedom of speech as in the first for other means of making ideas and feelings public but allowing censorship for reasons of decency when the public that has access may be younger than 16 years of age. The fourth and last paragraph exempts commercial advertising from the freedoms granted in the first three paragraphs. Switzerland North America Canada Constitutional Guarantees The Penal Code does have laws sanctioning certain types of expression. Such laws and freedom of speech were at the center of a public debate in the Netherlands after the arrest on May 16, 2008 of cartoonist Gregorius Nexgott. On February 1, 2014, Dutch Parliament abolished the law penalizing blasphemy. Laws that punish discriminatory speech however still exist and are occasionally used to prosecute. Supreme Court Decisions There shall be freedom of expression, no person may be held liable in law for having imparted or received information, ideas, or messages unless this can be justified in relation to the grounds for freedom of expression, which are the seeking of truth, the promotion of democracy and the individual's freedom to form opinions. Such legal liability shall be prescribed by law. Everyone shall be free to speak his mind frankly on the administration of the state and on any other subject whatsoever. Clearly defined limitations to this right may only be imposed when particularly weighty considerations so justify in relation to the grounds for freedom of expression, prior censorship and other preventive measures may not be applied unless so required in order to protect children and young persons from the harmful influence of moving pictures. Censorship of letters may only be imposed in institutions, everyone has a right of access to documents of the state and municipal administration and a right to follow the proceedings of the courts and democratically elected bodies. Limitations to this right may be prescribed by law to protect the privacy of the individual or for other weighty reasons, it is the responsibility of the authorities of the state to create conditions that facilitate open and enlightened public discourse. In 2002 Darren Lund, a professor at the University of Calgary, filed a complaint against Rev. Stephen Boisoen and the Concerned Christian Coalition with the Alberta Human Rights Commission, alleging that Boisoen's letter to the Red Deer Advocate was likely to expose homosexuals to hatred and slash or contempt. The Alberta Human Rights Panel found that Boisoen and the Coalition had infringed the hate publication provision of the Alberta Human Rights Act. The panel ordered Boisoen and the coalition to cease publishing disparaging remarks about gays and homosexuals, to apologize to Lund, to pay $5,000 in damages to Lund, 
and to pay costs, up to $2,000. The decision was overturned in 2009 when the Alberta Court of Queen's Bench found that the contents of the letter did not violate the hate publication provision of the Alberta Human Rights Act, that there was no evidence to support a finding against the coalition, and that the remedies which had been imposed were either unlawful or unconstitutional. The court's decision was upheld by the Alberta Court of Appeal in 2012. In February 2006, Calgary Sufi Muslim leader Syed Saherwardi filed a human rights complaint against Western Standard publisher Ezra Levant. Levant was compelled to appear before the Alberta Human Rights Commission to discuss his intention in publishing the Muhammad cartoons. Levant posted a video of the hearing on YouTube. Levant questioned the competence of the commission to take up the issue, and challenged it to convict him, and sentence me to the apology, stating that he would then take this junk into the real courts, where 800 years of common law would come to his aid. In February 2008, Saw Herwardy dropped the complaint noting that most Canadians see this as an issue of freedom of speech, that that principle is sacred and holy in our society. The Dutch Criminal Code 137 criminalizes Prosecutions involving expression Human rights complaints Cuba United States South America Brazil Ecuador Historically, statutes of Wailaka introduced in 1347 by Kazimir III of Poland codified freedom of speech in medieval Poland e.g. book publishers were not to be persecuted. The Constitution of the Republic of Poland specifically forbids the existence of political parties and other organizations whose programs are based upon totalitarian methods and the modes of activity of Nazism, Fascism and Communism, as well as those whose programs or activities sanction racial or national hatred, the application of violence for the purpose of obtaining power or to influence the state policy, or provide for the secrecy of their own structure or membership. On July 18, 2003, about 30 human rights activists were temporarily detained by the police, allegedly for insulting Vladimir Putin, a visiting head of state. The activists were released after about 30 hours and only one was actually charged with insulting a foreign head of state. A law forbidding anyone from blaming Poland or Poles for Holocaust atrocities during World War II was voted by lawmakers on January 26, 2018. After Salazar's dictatorship was overthrown in 1974, Article 37 of the Portuguese Constitution prohibits censorship of opinion and information. Article 578 of the Penal Code of Spain prohibits the glorification or justification, by any means of public expression or dissemination, of the crimes included in Articles 571 to 577 of this code or of those who participated in its execution, or performance of acts involving disrepute, contempt, or humiliation of the victims of terrorist offenses or their families. In January 2014, a judge of the Audiencia Nacional banned a planned march in Bilbao in support of jailed members of the Basque separatist group EDA that was organized by the group Tantas Tanta on the basis that he considered the group to be the successor to Herrera whose activities had been banned because of its suspected links to jailed EDA militants. In February 2014, a Twitter user was convicted for expressing praise for the separatist group Grappo inactive since 90s but not yet formally self-dissolved. Freedom of speech is regulated in three parts of the Constitution of Sweden. 
Hate speech laws prohibit threats or expressions of contempt based on race, skin color, nationality, or ethnic origin, religious belief or sexual orientation. In the weeks preceding the election of 2010, the privately owned TV channel TV4 refused to show an advertisement of the Sweden Democrats party, fearing that it could be prosecuted for publishing hate speech. The ad displayed women in traditional Islamistic burqas reaching for an emergency brake labeled with the text pensions, and an elderly woman reaching for an emergency brake labeled with the text immigration, thus implying that there is a fiscal conflict between pension payments and allowing immigration. The law regulating TV and radio broadcasts had previously expressly prohibited discrimination against advertisers granting a rejected advertiser the right to complain to a national board. However, the ban was lifted just two months before the election, thus making it possible for TV and radio broadcasters to opt out on some parties while showing the commercials of other parties. This was the first election when the Sweden Democrats gained seats in the Swedish parliament. Some Danish ministers criticized the TV4 decision as democratically unacceptable. Prior to the election of 2014, the General Secretary for the Swedish Red Cross and former discrimination ombudsman Peter Nobel demanded that the Nautistic Swedes party be banned. A former police intendant, Eric Ronegard, stated in the juridical newspaper, Dagens Juridik, that not banning the party showed incompetence of both the police and the judiciary. A large newspaper, Afton Bladet, interviewed many lawyers who said that the party must be banned and not banning the party is not in accordance with the United Nations Convention on Racism. According to the largest Swedish newspaper Dagens Neheder the governmental decision not to ban the party has been criticized by many. Both the Prime Minister and Minister of Justice said that freedom of speech must be respected and no parties should be banned. Holding a demonstration requires permission from the Swedish police. The police have so far granted demonstration permissions to the Swedes party, but Swedish left party leader Jonas Sjöstedt has criticized the police for issuing permissions so generously. The Swedes party was disbanded on May 10, 2015. United Kingdom citizens have a negative right to freedom of expression under the common law. In 1998, the United Kingdom incorporated the European Convention, and the guarantee of freedom of expression it contains in Article 10, into its domestic law under the Human Rights Act. However, there is a broad sweep of exceptions including threatening, abusive or insulting words or behavior intending or likely to cause harassment, alarm, or distress or cause a breach of the peace, sending any article which is indecent or grossly offensive with an intent to cause distress or anxiety, incitement, incitement to racial hatred, incitement to religious hatred, incitement to terrorism including encouragement of terrorism and dissemination of terrorist publications, glorifying terrorism, collection, or possession of a document or record containing information likely to be of use to a terrorist, treason including advocating for the abolition of the monarchy or compassing or imagining the death of the monarch. Sedition were abolished by Section 73 of the Coroners and Justice Act 2009, obscenity, indecency including corruption of public morals and outraging public decency, defamation, prior restraint. Restrictions on court reporting including names of victims and evidence and prejudicing or interfering with court proceedings, prohibition of post-trial interviews with jurors scandalizing the court by criticizing or murmuring judges, time, manner, and place restrictions, harassment, privileged communications, trade secrets, classified material, copyright, patents, military conduct, 
and limitations on commercial speech such as advertising. UK laws on defamation are among the strictest in the Western world, imposing a high burden of proof on the defendant. However, the Education Act 1986 guarantees freedom of speech as long as it is within the Law Act 1986. UK defamation law may have experienced a considerable libralising effect as a result of the ruling in Jamil v Wall Street Journal in October 2006. A ruling of the House of Lords the then highest court of appeal revived the so-called Reynolds defence, in which journalism undertaken in the public interest shall enjoy a complete defence against a libel suit. Conditions for the defence include the right of reply for potential claimants, and that the balance of the piece was fair in view of what the writer knew at the time. The ruling removed the awkward and hitherto binding conditions of being able to describe the publisher as being under a duty to publish the material and the public as having a definite interest in receiving it. The original House of Lords judgment in Reynolds was unclear and held 3-2 whereas Jamil was unanimous and resounding. Lord Hoffman's words, in particular, for how the judge at first instance had applied Reynolds so narrowly, were very harsh. Hoffman L.J. made seven references to E.D.J., none of them favorable. He twice described his thinking as unrealistic and compared his language to the jargon of the old Soviet Union. The Defamation Act 2013 reformed English defamation law on issues of the right to freedom of expression and the protection of reputation, and abolished the Reynolds defense, Reynolds v. Times Newspapers Ltd., also replacing the common law defenses of justification and fair comment. The Video Recordings Act 2010 requires most video recordings and some video games offered for sale in the United Kingdom to display a classification supplied by the BBFC. There are no set regulations as to what cannot be depicted in order to gain a classification as each scene is considered in the context of the wider intentions of the work. However images that could aid, encourage, or are a result of the committing of a crime, along with sustained and graphic images of torture or sexual abuse are the most likely to be refused. The objectionable material may be cut by the distributor in order to receive a classification, but with some works it may be deemed that no amount of cuts would be able to make the work suitable for classification effectively banning that title from sale in the country. Cinemas by convention use BBFC classifications, but recordings refused a classification by the BBFC may still be shown in cinemas providing the local authority, from which a cinema must have a license to operate, will permit them. Article 100 of the Norwegian Constitution has granted freedom of speech since 1814 and is mostly unchanged since then. Article 142 of the Penal Code is a law against blasphemy, but no one has been charged since 1933, though it was upheld as late as 2004. Article 135A of the Penal Code is a law against hate speech which is debated and not widely used. Article 100 in the Constitution states, Norway has however several laws that ban the right to impart information, such as laws against alcohol and tobacco advertisement in TV, radio, newspapers, and on the Internet. Various aspects of the contemporary press freedom situation are criticized by multiple international organizations. Russian constitution provides for freedom of speech and press, however, government application of law, bureaucratic regulation, and politically motivated criminal investigations have forced the press to exercise self-censorship constraining its coverage of certain controversial issues resulting in infringements of these rights. According to Human Rights Watch, 
the Russian government exerts control over civil society through selective implementation of the law, restriction, and censure. The 2002 Federal Law on Counteracting Extremist Activity codifies a definition of extremism, prohibits advocacy of extreme political positions, imposes liability on organizations that do not disavow the extremist statements of their members, and allows government authorities to suspend, without court order, social and religious organizations and political parties. In 2014, Russia strengthened criminal responsibility for crimes under Art. 280, Art. 282, Art. 282 Part 1 and Art. 282 Part 2 of the Criminal Code Under the strengthened laws, those convicted of extremist activity face up to six years in prison. The Swiss Constitution also guarantees freedom of speech and freedom of information for every citizen. But still the country makes some controversial decisions, which both human right organizations and other states criticize. The Swiss animal rights organization Verein gegen Tier Fabriken Schweiz took the country to the European Court of Human Rights twice for censoring a TV ad of the organization, in which the livestock farming of pigs is shown. The organization won both lawsuits, and the Swiss state was convicted to pay compensations. Another very controversial law of Switzerland is that persons who refuse to recognize the Armenian Genocide of 1915 have to face trial. The Turkish politician de Perinsic was fined 12,000 Swiss francs for denying the genocide in 2007. Switzerland was criticized by Turkish media and Turkish politicians for acting against the freedom of opinion. Perinsic's application for a revision was rejected by the court. Holocaust denial is also illegal. Freedom of expression in Canada is guaranteed by Section 2 of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Section 1 of the Charter, the so-called Limitations Clause, establishes that the guarantee of freedom of expression and other rights under the Charter are not absolute and can be limited under certain situations. This section is double-edged. First it implies that a limitation on freedom of speech prescribed in law can be permitted, if it can be justified as being a reasonable limit in a free and democratic society. Conversely, it implies that a restriction can be invalidated, if it cannot be shown to be a reasonable limit in a free and democratic society. Other laws that protect freedom of speech in Canada, and did so, to a limited extent, before the Charter was enacted in 1982, include the Implied Bill of Rights, the Canadian Bill of Rights and the Saskatchewan Bill of Rights. R. V. Keegstra, decided in 1990, is one of the major Supreme Court decisions relating to freedom of expression. Section 318 of the Criminal Code makes it a criminal offense to promote genocide against members of an identifiable group, based on their color, race, religion, ethnic origin, sexual orientation, or gender expression or identity. Section 319 of the Code makes it an offense to publicly incite hatred against people based on the same list of personal characteristics from S. 318, except where the statements made are true or are made in good faith. In Keegstra, the Supreme Court by a 4-3 decision upheld the offense of publicly inciting hatred, finding that while it infringes the guarantee of freedom of expression, it is a reasonable limit and justifiable under S1 of the Charter. When originally enacted, the list of protected personal grounds in S318 did not include sexual orientation, gender identity, or gender expression. Sexual orientation was added to the list in 2004, 
when Parliament passed an act to amend the criminal code. In 2017, Parliament added gender identity and gender expression to the list of protected personal grounds in S 318 by an act to amend the Canadian Human Rights Act and the Criminal Code. Two years after the Keekstra decision, the Supreme Court of Canada in 1992 decided the case of R. V. Zundel. The court struck down a provision in the Criminal Code that prohibited publication of false information or news stating that it violated Section 2 of the Charter and could not be justified under S-1. Canada has had a string of high-profile court cases in which writers and publishers have been the targets of human rights complaints for their writings, in both magazines and web postings. The human rights process in Canada is civil in nature, not criminal. Most of those complaints were withdrawn or dismissed. Books, newspapers, radio channels, television channels, movies, and music are censored. Cuba is one of the world's worst offenders of free speech according to the Press Freedom Index 2008. RWB states that Cuba is the second biggest prison in the world for journalists after the People's Republic of China. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or the right of the people peaceably to assemble, and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. In the United States freedom of expression is protected by the First Amendment to the United States Constitution. There are several common law exceptions including obscenity, defamation, incitement to riot or imminent lawless action, fighting words, fraud, speech covered by copyright, and speech integral to criminal conduct, this is not to say that it is illegal, but just that either state governments or the federal government may make them illegal. There are federal criminal law statutory prohibitions covering all the common law exceptions other than defamation, of which there is civil law liability, as well as terrorist threats, making false statements in matters within the jurisdiction of the federal government, spreading false and misleading information relating to death or injury of members of the U.S. military, speech related to information decreed to be related to national security such as military and classified information, false. Advertising, perjury, privileged communications, trade secrets, copyright, and patents. There also exist so-called gag orders which prevent the recipient of search warrants and certain court orders subpoenas, pen registers, and trap and trace devices, 18 U.S.C. 2703 orders, suspicious activity reports from revealing them. Most states and localities have many identical restrictions, as well as harassment and time, place and manner restrictions. In addition, in California it is a crime to post a police officer's or public safety official's address or telephone number on the Internet for the purpose of obstruction of justice or retaliation for the exercise of official duties. Historically, Local communities and governments have sometimes sought to place limits upon speech that was deemed subversive or unpopular. There was a significant struggle for the right to free speech on the campus of the University of California at Berkeley in the 1960s. And, in the period from 1906 to 1916, the Industrial Workers of the World, a working class union, found it necessary to engage in free speech fights intended to secure the right of union organizers to speak freely to wage workers. These free speech campaigns were sometimes quite successful, although participants often put themselves at great risk. In some public places, freedom of speech is limited to free speech zones, which can take the form of a wire fence enclosure, barricades, 
or an alternative venue designed to segregate speakers according to the content of their message. They are most often created at political gatherings or on college or university campuses. There is much controversy surrounding the creation of these areas The mere existence of such zones is offensive to some people, who maintain that the First Amendment to the United States Constitution makes the entire country an unrestricted free speech zone. Civil liberties advocates claim that free speech zones are used as a form of censorship and public relations management to conceal the existence of popular opposition from the mass public and elected officials. While federal and state governments are barred from engaging in preliminary censorship of movies, nearly all American theaters refuse to exhibit movies that have not been rated by the MPAA a private movie industry organization. This does not affect movie distribution via physical tapes or discs, cable TV, or the Internet. Since 2000, it has become quite common for movie studios to release unrated versions of films on DVD, containing content that had been removed from the theatrical version in order to get a satisfactory MPAA rating. Unlike what has been called a strong international consensus that hate speech needs to be prohibited by law and that such prohibitions override, or are irrelevant to, guarantees of freedom of expression, the United States is perhaps unique among the developed world in that under law hate speech is protected. For instance, in July 2012 a U.S. court ruled that advertisements with the slogan, in any war between the civilized man and the savage, support the civilized man. Support Israel defeat jihad, are constitutionally protected speech and the government must allow their display in New York City subway. In response on September 27, 2012 New York's Metropolitan Transportation Authority approved new guidelines for subway advertisements, prohibiting those that it reasonably foresees would imminently incite or provoke violence or other immediate breach of the peace. The MTA believes the new guidelines adhere to the court's ruling and will withstand any potential First Amendment challenge. Under the new policy, the authority will continue to allow viewpoint ads, but will require a disclaimer on each ad noting that it does not imply the authority's endorsement of its views. In response to libel tourism, in 2010 the United States enacted the Speech Act making foreign defamation judgments unenforceable in U.S. courts unless those judgments are compliant with the First Amendment. In Brazil, freedom of expression is a constitutional right. Article 5 of the Constitution of Brazil establishes that the expression of thought is free, anonymity being forbidden. Furthermore, the expression of intellectual, artistic, scientific, and communications activities is free, independently of censorship or license. However, there are legal provisions criminalizing the desecration of religious artifacts at the time of worship, hate speech, racism, defamation, calumny, and libel. Brazilian law also forbids unjust and grave threats. Historically, freedom of speech has been a right in Brazilian law since the 1824 Constitution was enacted, though it was banned by the Vargas dictatorship and severely restricted under the military dictatorship in 1964-85. Accusations or insults without factual basis can be punished by three months to three years in prison according to Article 494 of Ecuador's Penal Code. It is usually interpreted in media as criminal defamation and slash or libel. In 2012, the Supreme Court of Ecuador upheld a three-year prison sentence and a $42 million fine for criminal libel against an editor and the directors of the newspaper El Universo for aggravated defamation of a public official. In 2013 Assemblyman Clever Jimenez was sentenced to a year in prison for criminal libel.